Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Today in this uh, short and easy tutorial, we're gonna be talking about how to make a tap gesture recognizer to, to change an image background color with tap. So first of all, we need to start a new project, but before that, I would like to show you uh, how will be our this uh, project output so you will have it, an image uh, inside your uh, screen and when you tap on this image you will see that background change so when you tap it again again change to the same at uh, same as it was so this is uh, what we will going to do okay uh, so let me go back to Xcode and stop this so I'm gonna to start this uh, project now so I say file new project then I name it I choose single view app and I name it iOS Swift Tab Gesture. I just add one uh, zero one because the previous one was uh, Tab Gesture. So I created also I have a you know whisperator in there to be able to upload it to github right after I did the project okay so I go to main story right away and over uh, there I'm gonna add image so uh, let me go to assets and I drag my image in there this is a transparent PNG picture from Eiffel Tower inside Paris. Actually, it's art painting of that. So yes, uh, well, let's go back to main storyboard here. I uh, just inside my uh, media and uh, actually inside. Uh, library I just here type image to going right over image view so I drag my image view here so my picture is gonna sit here but I want to uh, also show you how you can make this image depend of your de device size so when uh, you have you run this app over iPad it's you don't feel that you know this image is really small now we're gonna use auto layout to make this image compatible with uh, our uh, screen size so what I need to do uh, first of all I need to push control and drag from this image to inside this image then I choose aspect ratio so now uh, I actually with uh, we add uh, one constraint that says to uh, uh, Xcode that this image keep uh, you know uh, size of uh, wide uh, to height uh, you know same as it is now also uh, I need to control drag from this one uh, this picture to screen or super view and then say okay equal hi okay so it says equal one you know uh, so if I go to size uh, inspector tab uh, I'll just come down here I see this is the ratio 48 to 61 for 
you know uh, why I did too high but there is an equal it's, uh, that's a uh, you know height of uh, this image with super view high multiple one so it totally equal but I don't want that I say I want to be half of this okay you may say okay if it's one it should be fill the screen uh, it's not because uh, I didn't align this picture yet so I come to this picture and here I just say okay I want this picture to be center uh, really uh, you know center aligned horizontally and vertically as soon as I add this then size will be matched uh, with uh, what uh, we said in our you know um, uh, constraint for uh, ratio uh, so let me go to this image uh, then I go here and uh, here I just want to change this to get you give you idea so you know I said half so let me make it 8 so you'll see that uh, you know 0 0.8 it's gonna be make it uh, bigger but uh, let's keep it half okay and uh, then you will see when I rotate uh, my screen and my device then uh, this picture will be smaller because high now it's gonna, then gonna be smaller okay so we did uh, you know everything good with our picture so uh, I also I say okay I choose my picture I go to attribute tab uh, or inspector and then I say okay make my background yellow okay so let's start coding. Also, we need to connect this uh, before starting. So I so I call assistant editor, and then I drag uh, from uh, the you know control drag from this image to my uh, screen. Uh, actually, uh, to uh, my controller, and uh, over there I need to name it. So I name it swipe label okay so now I have I can close the assistant editor then I can go to my uh, uh, view controller and uh, I can code here so to make it faster I just uh, use my a ready project uh, which I did before this and I copy paste uh, from there so we need to have a function there and also uh, yeah. uh, and also add something to our view did load so I just do it uh, explain it uh, quickly so uh, uh, we say tab gesture equal UI tab gesture and uh, target self action selector view controller dot my view tapped so this is an uh, you know actually function and just declare it down here Mm, uh, and uh, the, you'll see that I got uh, tons of uh, error yes because uh, in top of here first of all I need to declare uh, my uh, you know a variable I need to add a variable for tap uh, gesture so let me go there and uh, what's this swipe uh, label uh, actually here I name it swipe label uh, 
yeah we need to add uh, this tab uh, gesture here we go so I just say variable tab gesture equal UI tab gesture recognizer so uh, you know in our class we need to have this tab then we will add you know uh, other uh, property to that one also for this swipe label uh, you know I just come here I just want to show you how we can uh, you know edit something like this all together so I need push command and click here then I say edit uh, edit all in scope so all of view tab gonna change when I change this one oh, it didn't work because it wasn't declared down there so I do it myself Actually, I'm you know I name it label. Actually, it's an image there. Yeah. So let's come here and command and say edit all in the scope, and then I make it swipe image. Actually, it's not a swipe, but I should it say uh, call it swipe. I need to call it uh, tap view, tap image. Yeah. So yeah, something like this. Okay, and uh, here down here you said I said background color. Uh, if it's yellow, when I tap it make it green if it's not yellow make it yellow yeah it's easy also this is important that we add a uh, gesture recognizer to this tab image also we make it uh, interaction enable as well okay so let's uh, to run this uh, project uh, to uh, you know check outputs maybe not working because uh, you know I connect it and then I change it uh, actually I'm curious to see that if it's work or not uh, so I wait for that if not then uh, we need to disconnect it and connect it again uh, that's good actually experience for us as well uh, to see how uh, you know if we make a mistake uh, you know how we can change it okay so uh, yeah it's uh, made it successfully uh, you know compiled and now run it uh, this blank is screen that you see here it's our uh, launch screen if you want to uh, don't, you don't want to have this blank screen before your project uh, you need to you know fill this uh, launch screen yourself with something I think I got error there so let's see what is that error yeah I think because of that uh, you know this connection so what I do I just come back here and then I right click here and uh, or you know I can uh, you know close this and reconnect it also I can choose this one and come here I will see all of the connection so I can delete it from here so I delete it uh, from there then again I call assistant editor and now from here I can just uh, drag to this one there also there is other option you can uh, select this one 
and control drag to here so up to you so now you will see now uh, you know in name of this is correct here so I expect that now when I run it uh, it should be you know fine okay so I try to run it and let me to stop it uh, so I'm gonna force it uh, to stop and run again here you go uh, let's see I just explain uh, quickly uh, until this one is gonna build uh, you know this app and run it uh, so it was easy we made an image we made that image with aspect ratio to be same size uh, you know match with the, the device and then we connect that to the controller and over the controller we add a UI tab gesture recognizer that when we tap over this uh, item uh, you know trigger this uh, function and the inside this function we said okay change background uh, so uh, here also we said number of uh, tap required I said one and number of touch required I said one uh, you can make it uh, different with this one okay and let's see if it's uh, working now or not yeah uh, I think it's working so let me tap it and see what's going on if it's work yes you will see that background change when I tap it also I want to show you that you know that aspect ratio so I rotate my device 90 degree so yeah mm, uh, when it's uh, rotate you will see that image will uh, change size will be smaller because height is smaller for device as well uh, yeah you will see that my compiler sometime has bugging uh, so I just going back and yeah here you go so you will see it's working and my image still is in the middle horizontally and vertically but size is matched with height okay that's it uh, all uh, you know for today and this was uh, one of uh, our uh, video for series of uh, tutorials for uh, gesture recognizer and uh, if you like the video please make sure to give a thumbs up also uh, subscribe please uh, for more video uh, which are coming every day and any question please ask in comments also in comments you can find a link to github for source code of uh, this project and i wish for you the best and have a good one bye bye